day, everyone. I'm Aris M. Marcelino from Addition Hills Integrated School. Let us study quarter one, week five. Let's do it! What is a line? A line is the set of points forming a straight path on a plane. The slant between any two points on a line is always equal. A line on the Cartesian plane can be described by a linear equation. Definition of linear equation Any equation that can be put into the form ax plus by minus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are integers, and a and b are not both zero, is called a linear equation in two variables. The graph will be a straight line. The form ax plus by minus c equals zero is called standard form integer coefficient all on one side equals zero. The equation of a line describes all of the points on the line. Now, let us discuss what is a slope. The definition of slope, it is a slanting line or the steepness of the line. Slope describes the direction of a line. If x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2, the slope of the line through the distinct points p sub 1 quantity x sub 1, y sub 1, and p sub 2, quantity x sub 2, y sub 2, is slope is equal to rise over run, or equals change in y over change in x, or y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 using the formula. Why is, why is this needed? x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2. To guard against 0 in the denominator. Find the slope between negative 3, 6, and 5, 2 using our graph. Now, let us graph, locate negative 3 and 6, and point 5, 2. This is point negative 3, 6, and point 5, 2. How do you know the slope? Okay, from point negative 3, 6, uh, by the way, let us connect the two points to make a line. Again, from point negative 3, 6, okay, uh, we have downward four steps and going to the right eight steps or eight units. Okay, therefore, rise over run is equal to negative four over eight or equals to negative one half. Our slope of negative three and six and five and two is negative one half using the graph. Okay, how about to calculate the slope? Again, between point negative 3, 6 and 5, 2 using the slope formula. Okay, the slope formula, m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. We use the letter small letter m to represent slope. Okay, from the given, our x sub 1 is negative 3, y sub 1, 6, x sub 2 is equal to 5, and y sub 2 is equal to 2. Okay, let us solve from the given slope formula form. 2 minus 6 is equal to 5 minus negative 3. The answer is negative 4 over 8 or negative 1 half. Okay, same answer, negative 1 half. Now, this time, find the slope of the given lines. First, for the yellow line. Okay, the points are 3, 9, and 11 over 2 using the slope formula form. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Then substitute all the given points in our formula. Okay, the yellow line 2 minus 9 over 11 minus 3. The answer is negative 7, 8. How about for the blue line? The points are 5, negative 2, and 11, 2. So, for the blue line, 2 minus negative 2. Over 11 minus 5, the answer is positive 2 over 3. And for the red line, the points are 3, 9, and 5, negative 2. Okay, therefore, negative 2 minus 9. Over 5 minus 3, the answer is negative 11 over 2. Okay, these are the slopes of the following given using the slope formula. 
Now, another one. Find the slope between 5.4 and 0.52. Okay, again, using the slope formula, which is x sub 1 is equal to 5, then y sub 1 is equal to 4, x sub 2 is equal to 5, and y sub 2 is equal to 2. Now, substitute of the given in our formula of the slope, 2 minus 4 is equal to 5 minus 5. So, negative 2 over 0. Now, stop. Why? Because this slope is undefined. Now, let us uh, locate the point 5.4 and, and 0.52 in our Cartesian plane. This is the point 5.4 and 0.52. Now, connect the two points to make a line. As you can see, we have a vertical line. Okay, therefore, the slope is undefined if we have a vertical line. Okay, how about the slope between 5.4 and negative 3.4? Again, using the slope formula form, which is x sub 1 is equal to 5, y sub 1 is equal to 4, and negative 3 is x sub 2, and y sub 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, 4 minus 4 equals uh, over negative 3 minus 5. The answer is 0 over negative 8, or the slope is 0. Now, let us graph. 5, 4, and negative 3 over 4 in our Cartesian plane. This is the point 5, 4, and the point negative 3, 4. Now, let us connect the two lines to make a line. Therefore, it's formed a vertical line. Okay, 0 over negative 8 is equal to 0. From these results, we can see the slope of a vertical line is undefined. And the slope of a horizontal line is 0. Now, we have find the slope of the line. 4x minus y equals 8. We have an easier way. Solve for y. 4x minus y equals 8. Then isolate 4x. Negative y equals negative 4x plus 8. Y equals 4x minus 8. When the equation is solved for y, the coefficient of the x-axis is the slope. We call this the slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b. m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Therefore, m is equal to 4 and the y-intercept or b is equal to negative 8. Now, what are the signs of the slope? Okay, which have a positive slope? Okay, let us observe all the lines and then identify the positive slopes. The answers are line green and line blue. This is a positive slope. It rises from left to right. How about negative slope? The answers are the red line, the light blue line, and the white line. Okay, it rises from right to left. Then the orange line is undefined because it formed a vertical line. And the yellow line is the zero slope. It formed form a horizontal line. Now, before the end, our discussion or lesson, let us find the summary. Okay, the slopes of the slope is the slanting line or the steepness of the line. Now, if a line rises from left to right, it is a positive slope. Vice versa, if a line rises from right to left, it is a negative slope. And it's formed a vertical line, it is undefined, and it's formed a horizontal line, the slope is equal to zero. Okay, once again, thank you very much. And this is the end of the lesson. Tandaan lagi, lamang ang mayalam.